Somebody's fucking my lady. Somebody's fucking my lady. Somebody's fucking my girl. They probably did it doggy style. In the butt. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the No Chaser Podcast. I'm Tim Chatharangsu. I'm Ricky Shucks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They probably did. Yeah. In the butt? Yeah. Doggy style in the butt. <laughs> yeah, true. You know what? I knew a girl in high school that used to... Well, I, I I told her one time. Do like, a missionary in the butt? Because <laughs> that's, that's some shit right there. Yo, we'll get to that, actually. We'll get to that. Nah, I, <laughs> I knew a girl when I told her, like, yeah, you know, my favorite position is to, like, hit it from the back or whatever. She was like, ew. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> and and mind you, I, I, we were, I was a virgin in high school. Like I was just saying, like my favorite position, I guess, look at <laughs> when I'm jerking yeah. off to some porn. Yeah. Uh from the back. And she was like, ew. I was like, I don't know. Like, I, I couldn't have anything in like in my butt. I'm like, you know, <laughs> doggy style doesn't mean in your asshole, uh, necessarily. Kids. Yeah, kids. Just a bunch of young, dumb kids. <laughs> now, speaking of in the butt missionary, we had a homie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, I forgot about that. <laughs> Who said? <laughs> Who used to let us not? <laughs> <laughs> forgot. How could you forget that, Rick? Hey, man. I try to block some things out. <laughs> uh, well, speaking of unblocking things, uh, our homie was messing with this girl, and um, he said he pulled out. They were missionary, and then... He went back in, and I don't know how she was positioned, but after they were done, he was like, he he just, he said, he spotted like this little uh, different uh, aura. No, I, I think he he tried to go back in. Oh. And she was like, wait, no, you can't, you that's can't do right. that after that's, that. Yeah. Yes. She was like, whoa, wait, are you, are you, because you're not supposed to. And he was like, what do you mean? <laughs> Come to find out, he went in her booty hole and- she didn't say shit, and he didn't know. Dude, that's that. How did I forget that? Shit? That's the craziest <laughs> shit to me. No pun intended. How, yeah, like what? What kind of boot hole you got? Where neither of you know that is that. That was the immediate thought. Like, I mean, maybe she was just extremely relaxed. Yeah, and just very moist. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's that. There's that. As I said on a previous episode, my crack just be sweaty. <laughs> but, like, okay, so so maybe I can kind of understand him not knowing. Yeah. But for her not to say they, anything, yeah. it's kind of wild. <coughs> She's just like, oh, okay, that's what we do. doing. That's what we're doing? Okay, I just did that yesterday, but yeah. all right. <laughs> Guys love missionary butthole. I just love missionary butthole not saying anything, huh? Just no warning, missionary butthole. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. That's so funny. The NBH, man. <laughs> uh, we'll put that on the shirt. NBH. Oh. Um, <laughs> the Goody NBH Society. Oh. Uh, and then. It never put what it stands for. No, nah, I say put exactly what it stands for. <laughs> no, nah, that's for these people to know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Definitely uh, <laughs> shocking shit, you know. Uh, well, first of all, dog, uh, I want to I want to say, how are you? Uh, I'm okay. And I also want to remind people that uh, you know we say this at the end of the episode usually, but I want to say, hey, Goody Brand has a huge sale going on. Oh yeah, huge, huge Black Black Friday, Friday sales. Uh, we got over thirty pieces on sale. Some, a lot of them, up to fifty percent off. Um, and we dropped a bunch of new stuff. So go now. The sale is only till the uh, 30th, so you got a couple of days. Mm -hmm. And you sent me a TikTok earlier today mm -hmm. that kind of uh, had us shocked and flabbergasted. At, snake? No, not the snake shitting, oh. but we could talk about <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the songs that we didn't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think we I think we owe some kids some apologies. Yeah, and you know what? I had this thought recently um, because, you know, of course— when you be online, um, you know, and I think we all kind of follow the same uh, hip hop blog posts, right? Everyone mm -hmm. kind of follows the Shade Room, World Star. Uh, maybe some of us follow Neighborhood Talk, right? Yeah. And oh, everyone kind of reposts the same shit. And every once in a while, 
there's like someone posted TikTok of like, oh, did you know these songs? These new songs sample these songs, and a lot of the lot of our generation be in the comments like, duh, Damn. these fucking kids, they don't know shit. But you sent me one where I was like, oh, dude, I I knew one of those on that list. It wasn't the Candy Girl one, was it? No, it was um not Candy Otis. Girl, but uh, tell us, man. What's the dude's name? Ready? No. Bobby Womack. Ah. If you think you're lonely now. Mm. I knew he was the original of the uh, KC. <laughs> Interesting. One. But other than that, I didn't know any of that. Yeah, when they came out the gate with uh, Mr. Telephone Mr. Man. Mr. Telephone Man? Shocked. I, how, how is Mr. Telephone Man by New Edition not the original let's just play to it. that? Let's just, let, let's just play it so you guys get a flavor, get an understanding of what's what's going on here. Because it's crazy and uh, it's mind-blowing and it's just it's just wild, okay? I predict myself getting re-mad at the kids again. <laughs> like, what's Mr. Telephone Man? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> they That's haven't facts. heard either of them. That's so facts. <laughs> new, new Edition? <laughs> well, 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 well. Where's the old edition? We ain't, any, we ain't heard of any of the editions. And now they're going to sample it. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. The fact is, if you can just sit your tail. Did you know these were cover songs part four? <laughs> wow. What's this his name? J.R. Tucker. Never heard of him. J.R. Tucker. And Never even heard of J.R. That shit is crazy because you know of course oh I, that happened to me one time <laughs> i was at a restaurant in new york business meeting having a nice little dinner and uh and i'm like here and i um and i'm next to this other girl that was from the company it was from thrillist and we're just chopping it up nice dinner um the music was on and we're both kind of like what is this what is this elevator bootleg version of Gangsta's Paradise that's playing. <laughs> and then we get to listen and we're like, is that Stevie Wonder? <laughs> wait, wait, <coughs> wait. Wait. Gangsta's Paradise is a remix of an old Stevie Wonder song? Which one? Oh. It's not called Gangsta's Paradise. No, no. Bro, check this out. <laughs> I might just be putting you on right now. Possibly. Because this shit, like, I was co just completely, I had no idea. Um, it's definitely one of his sleepers, but here we go. It's part-time lover. Wait, what? <laughs> How? Hey, wait. <laughs> Watch this, dog. <clears throat> As I walk through yeah. the valley of the shadow of death. <laughs> oh, That's even the crazy. beat is yeah. sampled. It's the whole day. I ah, see. I didn't hear this in the restaurant. <laughs> That's crazy. And then they both remixed Weird Al's Amish Paradise. <laughs> what? Pastime Paradise. Well, first of all, Stevie, that's lame. <laughs> <But> <laughs> how dare you? Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. I wonder if it's the bridge to the... Um, Tell me why yeah, I it's gotta be. It has to be. Let the ones we heard are, are you, you and, and me. me. Wow. <laughs> uh, I just got the whole chills, even man. though I'm one dumb putting you on right now. That's crazy. Oh, uh, so yeah, we apologize, children. <laughs> <laughs> you are now allowed to freely be the idiots that you are. Yeah, that's facts. Because apparently we are too. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know, and uh, and honestly, it's probably more difficult for them. Because, and we've talked about this before, but like we grew up in a generation where the media that was consumed was only what we had in front of us. Yeah, it was forced. You know what I'm saying? It was like we knew about old shit because we only had a handful of channels to watch. Yeah. Um, we only listened to the radio. And so these kids. And whatever your parents were listening to. Yeah, whatever. So I knew a bunch of like our songs that were sampled. Because my mom used to listen to the original, mm -hmm. or what I thought were the original. Yeah, yeah. This hair shit was probably sampled too. Who knows? Man, and, and like so, so they are in a generation where they're really only listening to or watching what their homies put them onto, or yeah. what they can look up, or what they choose to. What they choose to, because yeah. who's gonna like in this generation? <laughs> why would you ever 
put on like Nick at night. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Out shit. of choice, yeah. Yeah. Unless you're one of those trying so hard to be different ass. Yeah, kids. exactly. Oh, oh Damn, you know Netflix? what I just realized is weird? Mm. My dad don't be listening to music. He be watching too. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> I ain't never heard you listen to nothing aside from Frankie Beverly and Mays. Hell, that's weird. <laughs> How you just don't like music? I mean, um, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm never, like, my mom, she had a sound system. Every new CD mm. that came out, she bought it. She would just listen to music. Mm. My dad, I never heard him just put on music unless we was in the car. Interesting. Oh, like he just doesn't just chill. He never have. I've never seen him just play some so not cleaning mm. <laughs> the house. Nothing. My mom was very. She was a music girl. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, she's the one to kind of like put me on to like Motown early on when I was a little kid. Um, they were, my parents were both big Sam Cooke fans. You know that. Yeah. Uh, that's why I really kind of um got into music really early. Uh, like oldies specifically. Um, when I started actually listening to music like my own music in like probably like fourth grade my mom i remember this because it was so weird she was like oh you 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 like oh you you like music you know she was, yeah. she was like oh, i was beginning to think you you wouldn't like music oh man i was thinking like <laughs> what <laughs> what do you mean why, why do you think that but i understand her concern because it's weird <laughs> but, but oh because your dad doesn't listen to music yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go over there <laughs> and question him i um I was really, really trying to like this new Andre 3000 album. <laughs> <laughs> I tried so hard. Listen. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I, for one, I was like, okay, so when I heard it was no bars, I was mm -hmm. like, I fuck with Andre 3000 creatively though, right? Yeah. Because on The Love Below, um, he has this random cover of... Um, favorite things that these are a few of my and it's all just like um, like um, production yeah. and it's dope yeah. and I'm like is it gonna be shit like this cause I fuck with that right yeah. and then I put it on <laughs> and it's it's what everybody on Twitter joked that it was gonna be yeah fucking ambiance flute noises and shit yeah I mean I kinda figured it was gonna be that from the way he was setting it up yeah like I'm telling y'all, <laughs> <laughs> ain't no bars over here. Uh, but so for me, I've already been listening to music like that. Okay. For like healing purposes. Okay, weird. Right? <laughs> Listen, man, I went through some shit. <laughs> but that shit helps and it helps you sleep and shit like that too. Yeah. So I wasn't too thrown off. Okay. But I definitely didn't expect it to be that. Like I thought it was going to be instrumentals that at least at least had a, a break where you could nod your head or something, something to it <laughs> you know what i'm saying or something that later a dj or a producer could put some drums on right and we'd have that or some shit like that i did not expect it to be fucking 435 megahertz <laughs> <laughs> Dude. healing tone yes it is massage shit. it's massage shit but i was like oh, i'm Definitely go use this to finesse some massages. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It's great for background mm -hmm. <laughs> when you got a lady over there. It's not distracting at all. Yes. And it's an easy transition into rubbing on things. <laughs> well, well, okay. First of all, well, damn it, I got no use for that shit nowadays. Hey, you can rub your wife. <laughs> man, we ain't got time for that, man. <laughs> but <laughs> don't nobody want to rub their own woman. Look. <laughs> Nowadays, when she wants to get rubbed, it's not even for no freaky shit. She literally, her feet hurt. Like, this is no fun. She hands you been gay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'd be like trying to set the mood. She hands me fucking foot cream. I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, someone tweeted that they put on that new Andre 3000 and it kind of really helped them get into a creative space, right? Okay. So I'm like, okay, okay. I'm I'm like been, you know, hitting little little walls trying to write this script here and there. Let me try it out, right? <laughs> Fucking open my laptop, got my headphones out, put on that new Andre 3000, immediately fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, like five minutes, I got like a sentence out. I told you that it helps you sleep. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. But I saw some, I think it was, who 
was it? Fucking David's homie, uh, Khalif, mm. put on IG story about how, like, one of the songs, like, <laughs> made him tear up or something like that. <laughs> and shout out to Khalif. Maybe, maybe I just didn't, I fell asleep too soon before I could yeah. really let it resonate. But listen, I've been trying not to, like, talk shit <laughs> about people because like, I'm not going to talk shit about the album. Yeah. It is what he said it was. Right. It's what he wanted to do. Yeah, yeah. We just expected something different. Yeah. Right? But the people acting like they just get it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they just was ready for that. And it's a vibe. Yes. Y'all don't know good music. Oh. Shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you fucking liars. Now, is it good for what it is? Yes. But you ain't doing what it is. No. Shut up. I ought to get on my nerves. You know, it's interesting. Um, so Veda's beginning to like songs now. Mm -hmm. Not just Baby Shark shit. Yeah. Now, now to be fair, Baby Shark is her shit. Of course. Okay. But uh, the other day at her day at her little baby gym she goes to, um, they had the, um, you're my little boot thing on, right? Yeah. And she's... <laughs> Daddy, what song is this? <laughs> I was like, you like this, baby? Said, yeah. So now you got to play the original. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> yeah, so she knows. <laughs> but we're at home, put it on, and we've had it on a few times now. So now she'll come around and be like, Daddy, you my little boot thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's adorable. <laughs> Super adorable. But yeah, back to these dumbass kids, man. man. I remember one thing that really connected me to a lot of my homies in high school was our love for Michael Jackson, okay? All my besties growing up, in a in a time of your life where people would be like, ooh, you like Michael Jackson? That's gay, right? <laughs> Fucking you and Chris, my boys, mm -hmm. we all loved Michael Jackson. Fucking Eric, mm -hmm. we shared a... Well, I saved him from his embarrassment about Michael Jackson. Good. My boy fucking Super Ego one time, he picked me up in his Jeep. We about to go somewhere, and he was like, he was like, oh, shit, I got a fucking Michael Jackson song or whatever. I'm like, bro, I love Michael Jackson. He was like, oh, my God, thank you. <laughs> Me too. He was ready to. He was ready to. Toss it. Yeah. I don't even know how that got in here, though. No. thought I was about to roast his ass. He was like, oh. Me too, man. Me too. Uh, Eric. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. So, you know, these kids, I feel like, um, <laughs> I wonder what it's like, you know what I'm saying, um, nowadays. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna put on some Michael Jackson and some R. Kelly for my babies. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna build that in there, make sure they like it, and then pull the rug out yeah. about R. Kelly, not Michael, because Michael didn't yeah. do that shit. And pull the rug out and like, oh my God, it's like Santa Claus, not real. What? He did what? <laughs> you want to know something crazy about this song? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That nigga did that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this what this might be about, yeah. baby girl. <laughs> oh man, dangerous. <laughs> She's like, I, yes, I love that you believe you can fly right now. But yeah. did you see the people that were shocked that Snoop had a murder case? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Uncle Snoop? Yeah. That be with Martha Stewart? Martha Stewart's homie? <laughs> this, this dude had a murder yeah, case? Like, you know, she was in prison too, right? Oh, what? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's how they get out. It's so crazy. Speaking of that shit, Suge, of all people, mm. is snitching on everybody. Dude, for no reason. I, I, I think he got a reason, but I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Now, most of the people I heard him snitch on are dead. Oh, so it's like it whatever. kind of cancels out, yeah. But the Snoop shit, I'm like, hey, 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 buddy. <laughs> Speaking of Suge Knight, <laughs> I saw a whole thread about how MC Hammer is actually the most dangerous oh, dude. Oh yeah, nah, M <laughs> MC man, yeah. Any anybody will tell you. Anybody who had a run in with Hammer will yeah. tell you like, nah, <laughs> Hammer is not to be played with. Bruh, I had no idea until I read this thread. Like. In the Bay and in LA. Yes. He's connected, boy. That's crazy, <laughs> yeah. man. Yeah, that's why you you ain't, you sure ain't try to do none of him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's literally what it said. They were like, he's the only one that he didn't try to like shake down or, yeah. uh, or, um, uh, or, um, shimmy down or, uh, what was this? <laughs> the, the pop, the, uh, <laughs> he ain't try to pop his collar. Pop his collar. That's okay. So this is, this is uh inside joke kind of weird break. <laughs> MC Hammer, shout out to Hammer. I fuck with you all day, bro. I'm not talking shit about you. Um, 
like years after the you know his his like '90s fame of like you know too legit to quit and all that, mm-hmm. he dropped a uh, a song called Pop Yo Collar. Pop Yo Collar Man. Pop 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 Yo Collar Man. Right, <laughs> and uh, it was kind of like an attempt to come back. <laughs> and me and Rick found it one day, and uh, it's pretty funny. It, it, it's, it's comical. <laughs> it's comical because it was it was in a transition period where it's like, damn, music is different now. Yeah, and he's trying. But to, I'm still, I, I still got this. So right. he's trying to jump on some train, and yeah, it was just he, he, he made different collar popping dances. That was the funny shit with names. Too. It was like five minutes of pop your collar variation. Yeah, different. The fat daddy pop. Fat daddy pop. Which one was that? I don't remember. I just remember the name. It was like wow. that's funny. I'm gonna start calling myself that. Yeah, it's crazy. You never really know who's uh, who's dangerous and fat daddy pop. <laughs> who's dangerous and living different lives behind the scenes. You know, we all they all can't be squeaky clean like squeaky clean like Diddy. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing about it is like you never know. <laughs> Some people, you know, he, that man is all about love and shit. So it's like they all can't be Diddy. You know, oh, crazy man. man. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. Uh, we're gonna try something different this time. Uh, we got some Am I the Assholes since uh, oh, yeah. every podcast does that shit. So, uh, we said <coughs> we like this shit too. So, fuck it, we're gonna jump on the bandwagon. All right, I got a question before you do that though. Yeah, have you ever watched one of these podcasts that do it? Because I just see the clips. No, do they answer the question <laughs> or do they just read it? Yeah, I think they debate. Okay. I mean, JK News, they be debating. Yeah, okay. Yo, today's episode of No Chaser is brought to you by BetterHelp, okay? Look, I look forward to the holidays, okay? But you sometimes you struggle with seasonal blues. Sometimes the holidays feels lonely for people. Everybody's getting cuffed up. It's cuffing season, and you might not have anybody to cuff to, and you're feeling like you just need someone to talk to, all right? It can be a lot, and it's natural to feel some sadness or anxiety about it. But that's why you got to F with BetterHelp, Okay. Sometimes it's important to just have someone to talk to, and that's why therapy can really be beneficial, all right? So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge, all right? Find your bright spot this season with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash NC today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash N-C. Am I the asshole for am I the asshole for asking an employee to wear a bra next time? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I go to the same barbershop for several years and they hired someone new today. I usually get my hair cut by a woman, but I ended up with the new woman today. I'm a man. My standard routine is a trim on the sides, then a wash, then a cut on the top. Everything was going well until the wash. I don't know if many of the men here gave have gotten their hair washed in a shop before, and I don't know if it's the same for women, but you lay back in a chair with head over a sink. You're facing the ceiling while the barber slash stylist washes your hair and reaches around, etc. This is my experience. She's washing my hair and extends from the left side to reach the right side. Her chest is right in my face, clothed, but I could tell she wasn't wearing a bra. At the risk of sounding vulgar, I felt a nipple rub against my lips through the clothes. She was also well endowed. I didn't want to make a scene, so I continued with my wash and cut. When she brought me to the front to pay an an outside earshot of customers and employees, I mentioned what happened and maybe it'd be better to wear a bra next time or instead of reaching across my head, just move around and work on the other side. To put it short, I'm banned from my barber now due to (laughs) harassment. There's no cutting corners in my retelling. That's exactly how it happened. I tried to be discreet, and I could tell she was about ready to slap me. Was I the asshole? <laughs> That's so funny. Um, do we want to break it down first, or do we just want to tell him if he's the asshole first? Let's let's break it down. Okay, so <clears throat> it's 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 an interesting situation, right? Yeah, because as a man, on some typical shit, uh-huh. it's like. Bro, be happy. <laughs> right. That's your first thought. Yeah. But when you take it to consideration, people's comfort levels. Yeah. I get it. That's not what you're there for. Right. You're not there to have a titty in your mouth. Or you don't want to be feeling that kind of way. Because. <laughs> at the barbershop. Or maybe you got a lady, you feel bad about it. Yeah. And maybe this person wasn't someone whose nipple you want in your mouth. Yeah. 
e- either way, uh-huh. valid feelings. Yeah. The problem comes in <laughs> where you tell her what to wear. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't, don't suggest that. Maybe bring it up to management. Hey, I was a little uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. She was her her breasts yeah. grazed my mouth. You know what I'm saying? You don't get to say, hey, you should dress differently. Yeah, once because you because you made me feel weird. Once you walk on that little line of like, maybe put a bra on next time. Yeah. Then it's like, ah. Yeah. Because you know. It's a whole thing of like she don't have control over her titties like that. Yeah. And granted, yeah, um, if she was wearing a bra, the nipple probably wouldn't have been so protrudy in his mouth. All right. <laughs> but look, sometimes women don't want to wear bras. Yeah. And sometimes women got big titties. Yeah. And it's not fair that big titty women can't have the same freedom as little titty women. Yeah. Because we all seen a little titty women gallivanting about. No bras, nipples celebrating. Yeah. And uh, we love that. And you got to realize that shit happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's no different from when you in the barber chair, you got your hand on the rest. Yes. And then you get barber dick on your knuckles. We've all had barber dick (laughs) on our knuckles. Yes. And the struggle is... You're not allowed to move <laughs> yeah, because, while it's there. <laughs> because then it's like, oh shit! You're acknowledging that his dick is there. So then, every we all learn to start <laughs> sitting like this, no more <laughs> this, so we don't get dick knuckles. But, I do this. I sit with my two fingers out like this, <laughs> so the dick just falls in between. Tim does this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at the eye while you get them up. <laughs> just I do this. I got my hands, I got my hands just caressing, dog. If you happen to put a dick in them, that's on you, dog. That's your fault. <laughs> you, you the nasty one, not me. <laughs> my hands been doing this. <laughs> but, Fucking reach. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I get a lot of services done by ladies. Facials, uh, pedicures, yep. manicures. Massages, right? Yeah. And for some reason, all of those things come with massages. Yeah. And... <laughs> <laughs> the same shit every time when they're like massaging my forearm, mm-hmm. they like throw my hand on their titty. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like this. It's hand on titty and they're massaging right here. Yeah. And it's just like the, the titty's there. Yeah. They they can't do they can't move the titty. Right. Why they don't put my arm somewhere else, I don't know. Yeah. But I don't question it. How and I also don't perv out about it. That's what I'm saying. How are we gonna be men? That love big titties and be mad at women for having big titties. It don't make sense. Yeah, uh, look, if you if you if you want to live in a world where big titties exist, you have to allow them to exist. <laughs> Sometimes you're gonna get hit in the mouth with a big titty and a big nipple. It happens. It's life, bro. And someone in the comments, because I I I kind of skimmed a couple, yeah. oh, was that's like cheating. <laughs> well, just to see, <laughs> someone was like, you would think that she would notice the nipple grazing his mouth or whatever. Yeah. But as we've learned from Nikki Blades and other women that have been on the show, not everybody, especially big titty women, oh, the their nipple sensitivity is different. Yeah. I was like, Nikki Blades put a titty in my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> I did not know where you was going because with that. <laughs> you, because your lip sensitivity is gone. Yeah, exactly. You didn't even notice she was in your mouth. <laughs> but yeah, as we've learned, sometimes... And especially with oh, uh, bigger areolas, I mm. feel that sensitivity is just less. You feel me? Makes sense. So maybe she didn't even know. Yeah. Or maybe she noticed and was like, ah, shit, but let's not be weird and it's, awkward about it. Yeah. I'm performing a service. I went to reach for something and accidentally tit slapped you. Yeah. Yeah. Grow up, pal. Grow up, buddy. Like, are you the... I, I mean, look, and I wouldn't even call you a... I mean, I guess it is two options. Are you the asshole or yeah. not? You are the asshole for telling her to wear a bra. That's mm-hmm. what you ask. You're not an asshole for feeling uncomfortable by the titty mouth. You're allowed to feel uncomfortable, but man, look, you just got to... I tell my wife this all the time. Look, it's not about what you say. It's how you say it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Because, man, look, she be an asshole sometimes, <laughs> right? And I'm like, just just soften this shit up. Put a little sugar on this delivery. Make Help the medicine go down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's like, okay, I'm sorry. I accidentally put my titty in my client's <laughs> mouth today. <laughs> oh, is that nice enough for you? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. He's, I accidentally sent Rick another picture of my tippy. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> he gets mad at me. Like, I did it. I didn't do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. That that clip went crazy on TikTok, dog. Man. That was like a million views. All right. Let's, let's do another one. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Oh, this one's interesting. Oh, wait, wait let's, let's go to the funny one. <laughs> yeah, this shit's so dumb. All right. Okay. <laughs> I love this one. I'm so glad you found this, dog. All right. Am I the asshole for asking my girlfriend to stop writing gay fan fiction about me? <laughs> All right. Oh, All right. Hey, I'm 19, male, and my girlfriend, 18, female. We've been dating for about two and a half years now. Oh, since high school. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. All going smooth until a few days ago. She texted me a link to a Wattpad page, and I opened it, and I was shown her entire page. She had so much fanfic in there, I was blown away. I was bombarded, and then I read one because it had my name. Then I started to get uncomfortable. She used my full name in the story and described me down to a T. My girlfriend is also a huge K-pop fan, and it was a homosexual fanfic about me and said K-pop member. Just reading it had me feeling kind of sick. So funny. She went into great detail, and it had an entire seven-part series about it. I decided to call it quits and close out of the tab. It had a couple views behind it, too. So after like 30 minutes, I texted her, Hey, I saw what you wrote about me. Could you please stop that? Or at the very least, not post it publicly? And she wasn't having it. <laughs> she blew up at me saying, she blew up at me saying how I shouldn't care, I'm insecure, and a bunch of other things. I tried to reason with her on this as my immediate family and friends use Wattpad. And to be honest, I just don't like the idea of her using my full name and description out there like that. She called me a piece of shit for trying to restrain her. At this point, I was just confused and asked her to call later. We called and she was still mad. Am I the asshole here? Bro. She's so funny <laughs> on accident. What a what a little psychopath. <laughs> yeah. Um I uh I don't understand the need to use his full name. And description. She was I'm talking about my boyfriend <laughs> sucking some K-pop dick. <laughs> Just so y'all know. If there was any discrepancy, yeah. James Wellington. <laughs> Five foot eight. <laughs> Black hair. <laughs> lives at. <laughs> uh, this is what I'm seeing, guys. That's so funny funny to me and her being so angry about it. like how dare you this is my art yeah. how dare you tell me I can't make you gay <laughs> <laughs> in my book <laughs> oh shit <laughs> um I would uh would I feel a way about this um, um I would definitely have questions like yeah yeah name mostly why yeah like why 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 <laughs> here's the thing too it it doesn't strike me as she's being funny like, yeah, she's serious. I I feel like it's it may be fantasy. Yeah, for her. yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like <laughs> this. You couldn't just name it different. Something. Give me a, a change, change. Something. <laughs> she got so mad. She called him a piece of shit. <laughs> That's so fucking funny, dog. Eighteen years old. Oh, I mean, okay. Man. So this has me also thinking, like, okay, eighteen year old. They, they've been together since high school. She writes fanfic. She's a K-pop uh, stan. And, um, you know, there's probably a little, you know what I'm saying there? A little, couple little uh, nerdy kids, okay? Uh, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. A little, 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 little nerdy. But that, that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad, okay? That's just, you know what I'm saying? You like to do fan fiction and you like K-pop a lot. I get it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, oh, I think <coughs> you are not the asshole, sir. <laughs> I think it is, you are valid. In your discomfort, yeah, you yeah. are allowed to express that because he's using your whole ass name. Um, God forbid he's trying to get a job and her fanfic is popping and they Google it. Oh, and they're like, yo, so your wife. <laughs> we understand. <laughs> you engaged in certain acts behind the 7-Eleven with a K-pop group? Well, interesting, interesting. Oh, so man. you and you and uh BTS, you got a, so you got a train ran on you by the BTS. Guy, it's Fiction. <laughs> I don't know. It seems pretty real. I have a full name. Full name and full description, man. Like, it must be inspired by something, bro. 
Uh, it's so funny. Like on one hand, if if I'm playing devil's advocate, yeah, 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 I get what she's saying because like I'm you're not I'm not you're not gonna turn gay because I wrote this. Oh, <laughs> but it's still so. Why wow. you just made it different for me? Because sometimes I'll be making reckless, stupid jokes, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm, I am make a joke about Tia, right? Yeah. And she has expressed in the past that um, she didn't like a certain joke. Yeah. And my immediate defense is, babe, it's so stupid. It's not real at all. Why would this bother you? Oh, you're one of those. This is just such a ridiculous joke. Of course I'm not going to have uh, you send Rick more titty pictures. <laughs> Like, why? Of course not. Why would that bother you? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But she's still like, well, okay, but I still didn't like it, right? So yeah. I'm like, okay, you don't like it? Cool. Now I realize, well, shit. Yeah, but <coughs> you should get to the, okay, you don't like it. Yeah. Cool part. That's the part where she's still wrong. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, 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 like I said, I, I, if I'm playing devil's advocate, I can understand where she's coming from. Yeah. But... If somebody doesn't like what you're doing to them, right. you don't get to just say, I'm just joking around. Yeah. It's just this. It's I just know. that. And then they have to accept it. They can still not like the shit. You just give me an idea. I know I've been slacking on Patreon, all right? I'm going to start writing fan fiction about, <laughs> about me and Rick. Oh, God. And, and I'll bring Nikki Blaze in there, too. And... Um, and and, and y'all can if you, and I'm gonna write like a fanfic a week. <laughs> y'all can give me suggestions and I'll work them in there. Oh, it's gonna be great. That's so funny. <laughs> <sighs> so you are not the asshole, my good man. Yeah, All right, yeah. let's do one more. <laughs> Am I the asshole for assuming a girl wanted to sleep with me? I was at a party this past Saturday, and this girl from one of my classes started talking to me in a way I saw as flirting, complimenting me, asking me to dance, and so on. I thanked her, said no thanks to the dance, and talked to her normally about our class. This culminated in her asking me to go back to her dorm. I said, no thank you, I have a girlfriend. She replied, so? And so I clarified, I don't want to sleep with somebody else for obvious reasons. She got angry and said she didn't want me to go back to her dorm for sex but to show me something related to what we were discussing. Personally, I think she was hitting on me and was trying to backtrack because she was embarrassed. I said no, but even if she... Oh, wait. Because she was embarrassed, I said no. But even if she did genuinely just mean to go back to her dorm to show me something, I don't think it's an unfair assumption to make on my part when she didn't... She didn't... Um, Blame something? I guess, when she didn't... Uh, hey, all right, well, you get it. <laughs> you get it. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole? I, um, being a man, yep. <laughs> knowing the, I was just joking. Ah, move. Yeah, I feel like you're not the asshole in this one. I, I think it's exactly what you thought it was. Yeah, and she couldn't handle the rejection. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, for one, you know, we we've definitely done the. You know I'm just playing unless you're going to do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in this case, I think she's doing that. I really want to do it. Oh. oh <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, no, no. It was a joke. It was a joke. You can't take a joke. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Yo, this episode is also brought to you by GoodyBrand.com. We're having a huge Black Friday sale that started November 17th all the way to November 30th. Make sure y'all go on the website. Get you some shit. We got... All types of tings, old tings, brand new tings, a whole new drop just dropped, and it's on sale with a bunch of other shit. Go, goodybrand.com. And if you love me, you'll go support. This girl is definitely seeming like she was just very horny at a party and yeah. had to do it in her class, especially if he says, hey, I have a girlfriend. She's like, so? Yeah. My thing is she asked him to dance first. Mm -hmm. And he said no. Mm. And she continued conversation. If that's not thirsty dude behavior, right, right, right. I don't know what is. Right, right, right. And it, I, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> and you know, of course, of course. Look, we don't want to uh, assume. You know, nowadays it's like 
you know, when we're younger, it's like, oh yeah, no, nah, that. She wanted to fuck. I'm assuming. Yeah. You invite a girl to your house, she assuming you're trying to fuck her. You you invite a girl anywhere. If she don't want to fuck you, she assuming you're trying to fuck her. I'm going to assume that lady was trying to fuck that man. I was going to say, in this case, I think it's kind of obvious. Yeah. Even though, like, look, okay, maybe she wanted to invite him back to look at fucking her butterfly collection or whatever. Yeah. But after the party, after him being like, hey, look, I'm going to chill. And her being like, I don't care about your girl. Look, dude, dude, just come back to my dorm. First of all, everybody in the dorms is fucking, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's one of the reasons I regret not dorming. Because all the <laughs> homies, everybody in college was just fucking all the time. And I just wasn't because I wasn't in the dorms. Yeah. Uh, and um, and I, I that's one that's one of the things I regret, you know? <laughs> yeah. And I, when I read these, I assume they're telling you everything. Mm -hmm. Why she ain't say, you want to go see my blah, 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 blah? Yeah. Why she just invited him back to the dorm? I want to go back to my dorm. Yeah. Like, he's just supposed to say, okay. Yeah. Plutonic, yeah, let's go. Right, no. right. Because even that, for this guy who was like, I don't I can't, I, I don't want to dance. I have a girlfriend. Like, that's not appropriate. Yeah. You know so Silly girl. No, you're not the asshole, yeah, buddy. You're not the asshole. And she is the asshole. Yeah, she wanted that missionary asshole, that missionary <laughs> butthole. <laughs> that MBH. <laughs> that's so funny. Girl, rejected women are funny. They dude. get so mad. So fucking mad. It's, yeah. it's, it's pretty funny. And they're comical. so not used to it that they can't cover it up right. Yeah. We've been rejected so many times. <laughs> yeah. I'd like, be like, all right. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, that's cool. Point, like, cool. So, <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> I do not care at this point. Yeah, I mean, even back in the day, like, getting rejected was like, you know, I think you and me especially, right? It was like, we understood. Yeah, we was always getting rejected. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you got to shoot your shot. Yeah. Um, but I think even back then, we were big on, like, yo, if you're comfortable. We were always trying to make sure everybody was comfortable with any situation. You know what I'm saying? It was like, it was never about no pressure. Um, uh, and... If it was ever a, 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 any inkling of her not feeling it, I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. I'm not tripping. We could just kick it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But uh, but the women's, they get mad. Oh, they get so mad. Am I the asshole for writing a book about an ex-lover? I'm a horror author and have had a couple of books published. About five years ago when I still had a job, there was a girl who started to like, a girl who I started to like. We got chatting and had chemistry, etc. We were getting really close, and then I found out that she was already seeing somebody. I respectfully backed off, but then she asked why I was being more distant. So I told her it was because she was already seeing somebody. She told me it wasn't serious, and they weren't exclusive yet. We carried on getting to know each other. She came back to mine for breakfast before work, and we ended up kissing and fooling around. Things advanced over the coming weeks, and then we slept together. The other guy looked through her phone whilst she was asleep and was furious. It turned out they were in a committed relationship, so she had lied to me. He made all sorts of threats, which I ignored, and he even chased after me in his car one time. I stayed away from her, and a few months later, she came to me and said that she'd split up with him. We decided to give things a go. About a week later, he texted me saying he wanted her back, and she went right back to him. Wow. He blamed me for all their issues and started threatening me again. He sent me angry texts, pictures of weapons, and even lurked around outside work to intimidate me. Once he even sent me a video of her sucking his cock. Okay, so these are white people. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> only white people say cock. I don't oh. know what it is. I replied saying he needed to trim his bush because it was wildly out of control and he couldn't expect a girl to put her face in a thicket like that. This guy might be British. <laughs> I ignored him the rest of the time and stopped talking to her even though she sent me loads of messages saying she loved me. And a picture of her arse. <laughs> <laughs> a missionary arsehole. The whole thing gave me an idea for a horror book, so I wrote it and got it published. So she read this book and was really angry, very, very <laughs> angry, <laughs> because it was obviously based on our situation. She was worried that the book made her look bad, even though nobody outside of the situation would even know it was based on her. But my point was that if she didn't want to look bad, then she shouldn't have done all that stuff. Am I the arsehole? No. Fuck no. <laughs> I agree. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta use these situations for your art. As long as you don't put her full name in description. Yeah, stupid nerdy girl. <laughs> you little nerdy ass. <laughs> and make her gay. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I think a hundred percent. You know, even as me, like you know, trying to be creative and shit, you draw from real life situations. Yeah. And if you have a real life horror story going on in your life, why not? 
write about it. Yeah, especially especially if it's not something well known. Mm-hmm. Like people don't know who the players are. Right, 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 right. Y'all know because y'all were in the situation, but the world doesn't. So it's like, man. As long as this fool makes sure he uses sucking his cock in a thicket of pubic <laughs> hair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That part's so funny <laughs> because he he tells him no girl's going to put her face down there. You're wow. looking at a video of it, pal. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Yo girl's put her face like, down there. Boom, roasted. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> Got him too. <laughs> <laughs> I won that. <laughs> My dispo is actually crazy. Sending we- pictures of weapons. Dude, so fucking weird. That's pretty fucking strange. They're, they're all a little stupid. Mm-hmm. She's a liar. Mm-hmm. A piece of shit liar. He's a fucking gullible simp. He, he said, no, you're talking to somebody in the first place. Yeah. She lies. He's like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> then... She leaves the dude mm-hmm. and like, okay, well, you can come over here. No, she's a liar, remember? You yeah. stupid idiot. Yeah. But I've been there where, you know, it was a girl that was so bad. I of knew course. she had a man and I didn't care. But you just fuck her. He was trying to date her and all. No, I was too. I was oh, too. Oh, damn. Remember? This is a uh, black and Mexican. Oh um, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I was I was ready to pick up the pieces, whatever yeah. pieces he the other dude would leave me with. I was ready. <laughs> okay, it, it do be like that. It do be like that. But <laughs> when you're young, <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, true. <laughs> I don't remember how old this dude is, but yeah, that's as yeah. He's not the asshole for that. Get you, get you, get your money. Yeah, because I ended up writing a song about that girl. So yeah. Yeah. I had a situation like this. I made a YouTube video, mm-hmm. but I was uh, I was a little strategic. This was kind of back where I didn't know how to be strategic enough mm. of keeping identities fucking under wraps. Mm. Give a little too much detail where people can piece shit together, mm. right? But this one girl hit me like, can you take that video down? People were like asking me if it's about me. Oh, Lord. So I took it down. But then now I'm thinking about it. I'm like... Nobody fucking asked you if that was about you. Yeah. Who? How would they? Yeah. Because the shit I said, it wasn't something where a random person that knows her would come across and be like, this was this? the tall one or the little one? This was Stacey Dash girl. Ah, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, they, it, she lied. She lied to get me to take it down. I mean, they so might, mad. if she actually looks like Stacey Dash. <clears throat> I don't think she looked like Stacey Dash to other people. Mm. I don't think that was her thing in her world. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And nobody knew she was talking to me. Mm. So it wouldn't be like, wait, wasn't she talking to this guy? Unless she was bragging to everybody and she didn't tell you. I don't know. She was like, look. (laughs) She was like, you know Keenan Thompson, dude, uh, (laughs) that I've been talking to. Fuck you. (laughs) I was cute back then. All right. Keenan Thompson is adorable. <laughs> I was handsome cute. <laughs> Not <laughs> child adorable. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. But that'd be so funny. <laughs> it's like, so fucking Cedric the Entertainer made a video about me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, yeah. So, no. I don't think you're the asshole here, buddy. Yeah. Well, guys, um... If you enjoyed this let us know if you um didn't lie to us please please lie to us okay we're so desperate for acceptance yes we can't deal with we don't know how to handle rejection all right <laughs> we're women <laughs> <laughs> thank you for watching another episode of the no chase podcast um goodybrand.com huge sale huge sale black friday sale um and um happy thanksgiving <laughs> bye <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm Tim Chantaranti. I'm Ricky Shucks. Bye. <laughs>